Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. And now the news in details. Bill Gates' wife, Melinda Gates, said, African will soon have dead bodies lying on the street. Melinda Gates, renowned billionaire Gates' wife, says the lack of testing kits in Africa is the reason why the continent's novel coronavirus cases are low, and this will make Africa have dead bodies lying on the street. Despite the United States having 504,478 cases and 18,798 deaths as at 11th of April 2020, according to her, who was speaking in a recent CNN interview, the virus will still hit the African continent hard, much harder than every one, every other continent. Meninda Gates says the world will be permanent change. It says the world will be permanently changed by the coronavirus. Gates said she believes it will take 18 months for a vaccine to become available. She believes if healthcare workers should be forced in line to receive the jab says the pandemic is not a once in a century situation like the spanish flu gates believes that there are likely to be other pandemic in our lifetime the bilonia wives warned africans and their leaders about the crisis facing the global crisis covid 19 will be horrible in the developing world she said my heart is in africa i am worried the only reason why the reported cases of the coronavirus disease in Africa is low now is mostly likely because there have not been wide testing of people. The disease is going to bite hard on the continent. I see dead bodies on the streets of Africa, Melinda said. Is Melinda now a prophet of God? But many social media users reacted to her negative reactions towards the continent advising her to keep her negative words away from herself, away from Africa. Wow, and Nigerians are saying that, please tell Melinda and Bill Gates to stop caring about Africa. We don't need them. We don't want their fake generosity. Stop talking about Africa. Keep your poisonous vaccine and med medicine away. Africa will be fine. But the big question that we have to ask ourselves is that, why must Melinda Gates' family have issues with Africa? Why? Because we don't know why they keep mentioning Africa all the time. Even her husband, the same thing. He was saying that CV is forcing Africans to take back vaccine. It's not a f by force that Africans should take vaccine. It doesn't mean that Bill Gates is trying to rule the whole world. Is that the meaning? You know, and another, another question that we have to ask ourselves is that are the part of soup or the real source of their money Try should help their countrymen who are dying every day. The thing is that they don't have to focus on Africa. Let them start from their own country too, the white country. Let them focus on that. People are dying over there. Let them be able to, 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 to stop the, the coronavirus. Instead of putting their eyes on Africa, we don't know what Africa can do the, to them. They should face their own business. We Africans, we don't need them. We don't need their help right now. They don't have to force things on us right now. You know, it is crazy. So, guys, what is your own opinion on this? What do you think about what Bill Gates said? Because to me, I think it's not. she's not making sense. She's not making sense with her husband because that was what Melinda Gates said today together with her husband, exactly what he said. But thus says the Lord, our Redeemer, you know, it says no weapon that is formed against African shall prosper. And every tongues that shall rise against us in judgment, we shall condemn. And just in case she does not know that. We are praying for divine health, healing, protections, provisions is our heritage. A servant of the Lord, because our qualification is of him. And that is the reason why Africans are still not suffering from this coronavirus and that is the reason why the spread is not much in africa because we are covered by the precious blood of jesus you know as at now as at today it is united states that is that is even like as the most populated infected patient you know you can imagine and here you are 
Bill Gates' wife and the husband is coming out and starts saying that uh, trying to force vaccine on Nigeria, that on Africa generally, that will not be possible, you know. And Nigerians are saying that she is not God, she is not our faith. We South Africans mm -hmm. are praying and we will overcome this with time. With us, there is nothing shaking. What is impossible with men is possible with God. Exactly. She is not our God. She cannot, she cannot come from nowhere and start trying to dominate Africa. And that is not possible. And thank God uh, Obama, Obama like came out. That was a few weeks ago. He was saying, he was pleading on behalf of the African people that Africans should not take any vaccine from them, that they know what they are doing. They, they have a plan already that it is poisonous if Africans take vaccine from them. You know, thank God that our black president has already said that. And we have to be careful too because these people, they are trying to rule the whole world because they have money. Is that the reason why they are trying to rule the whole world? You can imagine this. It looks as the whole world is going to an end with this, all this, they are tasting, they are talking about today. It is crazy, my people. And Nigerians are saying that South Africans has a population of over 58 million. And we are still at 2028. Why everyone is worried about us without them worrying about their countries? We are having 410 recoveries at this stage. This shows that in South Africa, COVID-19 is going. They said, what is wrong with, B with this Bill Gates family? Just because our rich doesn't mean they own the world. Why are they so much concerned about our continent? Thousands of people died in Italy. They didn't do nothing. But all this they know is black brain about Africa. God bless Africa in Jesus' name. What she said will never happen upon our continent. Exactly. Whatever she said back to the sender. It will never happen to our continent by the grace of God. Because we are the son of God. Nothing will happen to us. Because I was expecting this family to focus on the white country and f and help their white country, not not Africa. Africans don't need their help right now. Let them sit down and focus on their home right now. You know, you know. Let them just do something about their home country. We don't need their money. We don't need. It. Maybe it's just because of what they have. That is the reason why they are trying to do like this. You know, and that is the problem. You know, and Nigerians are saying that this is a problem associated, associated to African Nigeria particularly. She is calling our greedy leaders to wake up, to meet up our expectation, not to relent. She is also envisaged possible spread of this virus because of inadequate of testing kits and some are busy concentrated on a negative comment. Please, we should always look at issues in holistic. She doesn't deviate from truth. She said this because of her passion for poor Africans. She is not far from truth. It led our leaders to heed to our advice and make sure those testing kits are available for proper diagnosis to end the spread of this virus. May God help us all. Wow. I think it's a wake-up call to all African leaders right now. They should wake up from their slumber and be of help to the civilians, to the African civilians right now because... We don't want the spread to be more than this. We don't want it at all. That is not our portion as uh, as a civilian right now. We don't want much of this thing right now. So guys, what do you think about this news? You can imagine, look at what is your own opinion about what uh, Big Gate's wife said. Wow. In fact, it looks as if the Big Gate's wife, they have underestimated all African country. You know, it looks as if because of what they have, it has, they have turned African country to a mess. They have turned us to a gra to a, a, a grass already, you can imagine. So kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button. And also please kindly stay safe at this moment and always take good care of yourself. Happy Easter to you and happy Sunday to you. Enjoy your Easter at home with your family. God bless you.